Hello, fellow Ambazonians, fellow televiewers on the Ambazonian Communication Network, the ACN. I want to welcome you once more to another episode of the No Pony Talk Zone. This one, a program where we bring on the truth and nothing but the truth. I will take time for investigate issues and where we present them where it be interest for the people for the Southern Cameroon, the Biafran people, and peoples all across the continent of Africa. We will broadcast. For the ACN television, where if you get them, if you use a parabolic antenna, the details them, if you contact our communication team, or if you contact me directly through this WhatsApp number, make a provide for one those details them for anybody who will watch us across Africa. Increasingly, we we'll get a lot of viewership in West Africa, in Ghana in particular, Syria alone, Liberia, and in many, many other parts of the world. More importantly, we we'll get increasingly more viewership for ground zero and for those who did they struggle for get our channel if you do watch any of the ambazonian tv channels and that means say your antenna it be pointed already for the right direction you just need to rescan your your tv channels again for you forget acn a truly liberation channel dedicated to liberate the people of the southern cameroon the people of ambazonia we are the vanguard of the ambazonia governing council and the adf which is the the mother force is a pioneer force on the ground that is shaping the, the liberation movement in Ground Zero. All man be welcome. And if you want to watch me, then you are lucky to be amongst the five percent most influential people from Bazunia where they watch my show. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As we always start this show, we we'll start with some song for welcome everybody and then also for get us calibrated. So that we start for go inside deep for our show. The the show titled today na death sentence to an innocent ambazonian five ambazonian that be sentenced to death by firing squad by la republic to come around their kangaroo court way be for inside the kumba this one it not be acceptable it not be tolerable the president of the governing council it instruct the adf for respond appropriately and that respond it will come today we will give una an in-depth analysis on that decision we will also give una an overall review of our liberation movement with some critical video footages and what i'm preparing for now first make we go for the entertaining video make we use them for welcome everybody and for those who did watch me for my youtube channel capo daniel and don't forget for subscribe and uh forget the latest videos and the content and some old videos and those who did watch me also for the acn facebook page please continue to subscribe to that page for update from the organizations that is leading the most consequential organization in this our liberation movement thank god for mercy thank god for grace i think god say i overcome plenty things way for make me great i thank god for family i thank god for friends I think I say I see beginning of the end, I see the end. Oh, I see many people went up but they don't leave. Oh, many they force me to the day they see go. Many they for my trying to feel free too. See, I just wanna thank you, God. See, many people went up but they don't leave. Oh, many they force me to the day they see go. Many they for my trying to feel free too. I just want to thank you guys So ladies and gentlemen this particular song it be dedicated for all Ambazonians them where they pray very hard for our nation may be liberated from Cameroon occupation and to stop all the destitution the poverty and all the hardship with this relationship with our country Southern Cameroon and La Republic of Cameroon it done before we with the pray say make no generation in us suffer the same fate we would not suffer me, they don't see the same bad things and war. We would not see them. Now, why that would the fight say independence is not the only long term solution for solve all these problems? Then, if we separate from Cameroon, all the problems that we have will likely disappear. We need to work very hard for that. And for all those who didn't follow me on a personal note, would they now for the year 5782? Now, happy new year for we, we will follow the Jewish calendar. And uh, we don't just finish the, the, the festivity them for New Year. They call an Arash Hana for Manway. No, no. So we would enter also, I think, on the 16th of 
September it will be na Yom Kapur na a day for repentance and a day for forgiveness for all those who they do spiritual uh, focus when a few also benefit for that for make sure say when a prayer then be the way we it come off a Bible as when I know Messianic Jews will be na a form of Judaism and Christianity where it don't join together it use the Jewish calendar and uh, na the way that way the apostle they be to worship God also paying homage to Jerusalem visiting for pilgrimage and all those things worshiping in the synagogue and uh, that's my faith and i hope it blesses you there is one more entertaining video i want for play am hope say you go prepare your heart for the show for today it be rich in content as soon as i know i be almost two weeks one over come online so it will definitely be a little bit fast and uh, not as usual but it will definitely be the new Connie talk show you were looking down on me Look what you will soon hear from me oh. I'm coming out Oh, it's not by power It's not by power It's not by power By the Spirit, but by the Spirit. Of the Lord Any which way the tree is mine When I shine, my head and it's good blind Oh, I go explore Hastily, quickly Without no one it's not by power, it's not by might, it's by the Spirit, says the Lord. We are fighting an existential threat in southern Cameroon and Bazonia. We, the Republic of Cameroon, it will kill our people with impunity at a speed we will not be fit ever imagine. The Republic, it get the support for French government and it get international partners and where they help them for cover up the crime, make the international community you know, intervene. They also get eternal enablers when a part of our community for Ambazonia, where they make sure, say, Mila Republic get away with murder by providing them cover as we don't see them in the clear case for Bali. Ladies and gentlemen, una welcome for the No Kony Talk Show. Now, me, Kapo Daniel, una host, I will go straight into my show for today, number 11 day for the month for September 2021. Now, 9 11. And a significant day for people from America, so I send a shout out for all the Ambazonians who are resident in America, who are citizens, those who are asylum seekers who have fled the war from Ambazonia. I bring you greetings from the Governing Council of Ambazonia. You will all be highly welcome. Today, the title for the show will be primarily focused on the sentence where the occupier, the Cameroon government, it has sentenced five Ambazonians them for allegedly killing our own picking them, seven of them where they be die for the Kumba massacre. But before I get to that, I go on for give a small of a view for our revolution as we always become. Very interestingly, today we'll get a very good pastor talking about the good, the bad, the ugly. This time we'll talk about Reverend Taku Ayut Moses, where he done come out from Ambazonia, he go out of the country, he done give an, uh, uh, a newspaper interview where he talks a some big stock we talk and for day it talks a God. God, he don't ordain Ambazonia a liberation war. It talks say our war it be it be legal, and it talks a God did not approve the union between Ambazonia and La Republic. Reverend Ayok, it talks say the reason why we he believe say God never approved this union now because there is no legal basis for the two Cameroons to come together. Because for all these years, La Republic will get the advantage. They never succeed for force our leader, they didn't sign any accord with them. It is shows and approved them that says spiritually will be bound for separate. And he also talks that the war it be justified. So that one they come for Reverend Ayok Moses Tabe. Very, very powerful word, especially for the thousands of our people who are believers and who faith means a lot for them. I read a quote, it talks say. The Lord revealed to me, make I put up the, the picture, make when I see face. I'd read the quote way again for that newspaper interview will be published online as well as on the physical paper, newspaper, the voice, Reverend Taku Ayok Moses. He talks, say, the Lord revealed to me that this war is justified in that the union that had no legal basis on earth is also not established in heaven. Those are inspirational words for a dedicated man of God. And I hope say so, you will empower our women of God and all our people of God of faith.
to pray, those who are Muslim, those who are practicing tradition, to put strong force. We don't see, say, for inside the Guinea, their, their coup d'etat, we also see say, that they use spiritual force. This is, we have to fight spiritually also in every way we can. So before they take, when I go inside, we see, say, newspaper them for inside uh, inside Nigeria, they don't, they don't still intensify their, contact, their communication being pushed by the Nigerian government publishing propaganda that has come from Sako Ikome and Chris Anu, their group. I will just bring that to you. So in many newspapers today, the Vanguard, they, they publish a message from Sako where he talks a separatist group that are denied say they no go plan attack for inside Nigeria. It could be very surprising. Say the um, the the IG group where they not be a, a member of the alliance between their Biafra people and the Ambazonian governing council. Now them go the champion for the talk about the scope of our relationship for provide this consolation for the Nigerian government for their domestic audience and for their international partners. When I know say one of the very big advantage with the alliance between Biafra and Ambazonia, he get them say he go give. The, um, the Biafran people, them a very, very strong push towards self-defense and eventually liberation from the Ambazonian experience. And the Nigerian government and their international partners, they be afraid of the influence where we, for the Ambazonian Governing Council, the ADF, we go get them for the Biafran movement. That panic, it make them their international partner. It talks say Nigerian government and Cameroon government, the need for dialogue. For make sure say they resolve the problem where where people they face them where they present them before them. But Chris Anu and Sako, on the contrary, you go face the nothing way they go to support them if they fight for independence. But they write for Nigerian, they provide propaganda material for calm down Nigerian population, for calm down the international population. We actually, if they not be calm now for our advantage, because they be afraid of the reality of this alliance. But I feel assure our people them. See the alliance is real, and they have no 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 voice in that alliance. We are so we are going to continue to intensify our collaboration with the Biafra movement, and to make sure that the scope is fully implemented. Implementation is already taking place on the ground. The Biafra and the Nigerian government can see the effect. The Cameroon government is also seeing the effect, and we are also reaping the benefit from that uh, effect. But that should not surprise anybody about these people. I will just say this in passing. We remember the. I, I want to just to just to let you people know those people who are working with Sako and uh, who they are. We know the other guy Clovis. The guy called Clovis. This is one of his top lieutenant, one of his top propagandists. His name is called uh, Apia Clovis. He goes by the name Nanchop on Facebook page. I just want to show you what they have been doing so that you know who exactly this group of people. Called the IGR. This is his page. It's a Facebook page, Mr. Nanchop. His name is uh, Clovis Epier. He spends his time going to the internet, download images of guns, weapons to come and show and fool fighters on the ground that they are supplying them weapons, where, whereby we know that in reality, Sako is embezzling money for his private benefits, spending money on himself, and there have been no evidence that they have spend any substantial money to give soldiers for weapons and uh, these these pictures were actually taken you can see in the nigerian website here that was published in 2007 they pick the, the images were also published in another website this website you can see is in uh, wazaristan so these are the, the images we now pictures in this way sako he top written on them Jekal also, and I remember Jekal, after the ADF, if he attacked Lebialem, overrun the in Manu, overrun the, the property of uh, General Eloko uh, B of La Republic to Cameroon. The Jekal, they become out for publish and say that attack was planned by them. They actually called the name of their so called LGA. It was planned by them, it was sponsored by them, but that attack was carried out by the ADF. So these are people. Where they don't get no credibility at all, they just now opportunities. The way they, they try to grab any opportunity here and there for project themselves. Now people, the way the World Bank report, it don't clearly talk say they don't get a private uh, uh, a negotiation with the public. Where they don't accept federalism. Now federalism, where they don't embed themselves 
inside this revolution that they pretend to them be na nationalism. So we go na no say na people where they no get credibility. All their activities then be based on lies. They are not competent. They don't have any roadmap. They they are spending their time to attack ADF and the governing council. In diplomacy, they spend time like you see in Nigeria, sending messages to beg Nigeria money. In the international community, they send messages to claim that they are a government. <laughs> what what does that mean for them? So these are people who are delusional, and are nobody who is serious should be taking them seriously or paying attention to what they are doing. They should be ignored. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, bad news is coming from our people in our elites, our so-called Bakwere elite. They have finally sold Boya University to La Republic du Cameroon. The news and the rumors you have been hearing on social media is actually true. Sadly speaking, our Bakwere people that we think that are the pride of Ambazonia. They are people who can, they, they, they can show us something good. You know, when you come and you, you portray yourself as you are the pride of the nation, we expect you to bring something good. So this is the reality. This is in Akolo Linga, in La Republic du Cameroon. Boya University is gone. As soon as see, now it must this for university students that already will take place for instance Akolo Linga for La Republic. When I hear. So now the students in that way that are already the carry then go for a colo linga where they want open and annex for University of Boya. We know say now a way for transfer University of Boya into La Republic. We saw the back where the people then they me then rise up for oppose, me then stand up for protest. University of Boya is gone, like CDC, like all our institutions of the Southern Cameroon, they take them all, including the GCE board, where our people they don't fight so hard for maintain them for our people them. Everything is going across the Mongo into French Cameroon. They want to take our resources. They want to take our elite. Anybody where he learn, but where he shows more intelligence, they carry and send another yaoundé. This is the reality of Cameroon. It is an exploitary machine where be bent on sucking up everything good that we have. They have leave our street deserted, leave our youths all abandoned to look for greener pasture abroad. They have taken control of our territory. They are buying lands every day, transferring our land to their citizens. They have even created a Bulu tribe near the Bakwere people. So where is the pride of the Bakwere people to stand and fight for our fatherland, Southern Cameroon? They should rise up. And these are the reasons we are fighting, because we know that ultimately only independence and separation is a solution for our people. If we continue to yoke with these people, they will continue to suck us up from every juice that we have to survive. So I'm sorry, I'm having a, a call, interruption call there, but I'll pick it up later on. So I'll, I'll, let's go now to our the clocks of the matter of this presentation today, which is the sentencing of the innocent Ambazonian by La Republic du Cameroon Kangaroo Court for the killing of our own youth in Kumba. To remind you of what happened that fateful day in 2020, make I bring the video then for Kumba, the old videos. This one will be courtesy of, uh, I think it's Al Jazeera. So make I bring the video then for remind our people what to be happen for Kumba on that fateful day. And open fire. <laughs> the students aged 12 to 14 years didn't stand a chance. Isabel Dion's daughter was shot in the stomach and fortunately survived. When I ran in there and I met my child, she was helpless and was, she was shouting, Mom, please help me. And I told him, it is only your God that can save you now. This act of violence against a school and school children could constitute a crime against humanity. No group has claimed responsibility. People were crying. People were shouting. It's unclear whether the attack was linked to separatist fighters active in the southwest and northwest. Two so this one, the international news about what will be happen for Kumba.
for 2020 for the massacre for this school when they call an Amada Francisca International Bilingual Academy. Wait for that fateful morning, begin and go for school with their casual dresses them in the way we would expect community school them for operate or private school the way they then transform into community school them meaning they operate. Gunmen they enter for day, then slaughter picking them. Now, this is what we know according to the investigation we'll be doing on the ground. We don't talk for the school picking them, we don't talk for some of the parents them, we don't talk for some of the people the way they're around. None of them, no beliefs in the Ambazonian fighters them, attack this picking them. Majority of them, they don't know who attacked this picking them for the school. We, for the ADF, who believe say this attack was planned by the Cameroon government using their own agents that have been parading as Ambazonian fighters. It never be long where the Cameroon general, General Nka, it be there for inside Moyoka, he takes microphone, he talk for the people, them say, them get Amber Boys. Amber Boys are put in quote, where did they operate on the theater? We once they inform the media and do some things they go do. Them. So that one, I think we'll know say La Republic is be capable of doing in our territory. We also in we also in, uh, interview one of those people the way they meet up face to face with these killers and where they kill our people then. Because the people they become with bike, according to the man, they can meet up, they be there around they be there, I think about nine or something like that in multiple bikes. They come for the store man where be there for the first school. They ask you the name for this school, the direction for go for this school. So that man, he showed them the, the Mother Francisca International School before the boy then go for, they go kill them. From that interview, wait till we will learn and I say, that picking the way they can kill these people then for this school. Maybe picking the way they know Kumba very well, where they know which way they, 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 they come can do them, where they know their target. No people there, they will feel they recognize them. A Cameroon military checkpoint, you know, be far away from this school. So, if na amber boy them, they know for be bold for can carry attack. Leave all school them on their way for can attack this school where they for close to Cameroon military base, and they for also know the direction where they for take them. It shows na people the way then bring them in. Me they can carry out this massacre. Now things in that way we know them. None of the parents they never accuse amber boys them. After this attack, we know say Cameroon government it put pressure on the family members them. Me they not talk for the press and me they not talk for we. That one will know the family, they don't talk for we exactly which way to go on. We also know say Cameroon government, they arrest the proprietor for this school will be very suspicious. And they don't, they don't also sentence them for failing to report crime. When I bogus reason, why would I go talk say they will now arrest person, say the person not report a crime, we will be for the news, when I saw that they report on that field where people then call them. Normally, if a crime happened for some place, any man fi call 911 or call police, police then give a camp. So we know say Cameroon government, they intimidate the owners of this school because they know one me they talk. They don't sentence them for keep them in cage and keep them in check for make sure say media crime will not be exposed. Wait to where we know also that say the Cameroon government, they be bring one criminal gang where they operate around around uh, my my 90 day, my 90 around there, one one. Chief Manway, they decoy for Moyoka area, they say na that man they call na it's a Cobra, Commander Cobra. They call it Commander Cobra, you know me saying a commander for um, for any Amazonian force. Now just the name with the chief man they use them with the call Commander Cobra. They be arrezi, they be beaty. Now person that we will not say the Cameroon military, they they, they run to use that particular chief group them like informants them. Now the man now the picture this make a remind when I make when I know which way it be happen on that day. So now the image is for the commander cobra for back. I put the image for here. So that make when I see him. Now the image is to the commander cobra cobra way uh, zebra commander zebra way like the public they be show him say that the mastermind of the killing of those picking them. And the commander Cobra, he talked very well, say he been a, a chief person where he stayed for it work with another seven other people then where they work for around my 90. So the Cameroon government itself, then talks now the man this way he killed that people then. Then talks say this boy now an amber boy. This particular commander Zebra, he never ever appear for any video, say he be amber boy, he never ever make any message, say he be amber boy. No Amazonian group no know this particular boy. Who no say 
the people that were Kumba, they know he's an active man at Twatea. We then use their name, say Commander, Kup, Com Commander Zebra, even before this struggle is start. Now, a criminal gang, we no get nothing to do with the killing of these people. Them, as a matter of fact, if you watch the video where Cameroon government released them, when the man be the talk, the the SDO the talk, he reached for some place, then cut them. Where he should say the boy, it deny say he no be na amba, he no be be involved for the killing of that picking them. The Cameroon government be execute this man. They not ever bring this man for court for trial for the crime. If they be talking, I be kill the people them for Insa Kumba. Instead, they run sentence five of our people them to death by firing squad. The name for the youth, the way they run sentence, where they run sentence them for death. One in name na Yemili Nkotzi. So another one na Gilda Nkote. Another one Patrick. Another one Kevin. Now the, now the four people then that one of them are not get a name for one of them. But we know that they don't sentence five people them for firing squad saying that they kill this picking them for Kumba. Cameroon government now they benefit which if they be use that killing for Kumba for Duam, they use them for withdraw for the talks where they go on with the United Nations, where they be that already tell the United Nations that they don't commit the, after the killing of these people, them they use that one like a reason for pull out from that talk. So we know that Cameroon government then benefit from this attack. They use them like a PR to sabotage the Ambazonian forces them. And the people, the way they sentence them, now an affront for our people them. These people them, they, they go through the same treatment where Akum Julius, where they be killed for this struggle, they, they go and we need to stand behind them for make sure say Cameroon government in order to kill our people them using judiciary as a disguise for execute our people. This execution it be program for shock our people them and for be a blow to our revolution for fighting our people them the one use the tactics where the french government if you use them with the so-called makiza we are the freedom fighter the cameroon for the for french cameroon that way they be execute ns Mwani for for bafusam in front of the population it be frightened the bameleke people them they be stopped for resist Cam, uh, french cameroon new colonialist rule now the same people that they rule that country today one for make our people they meet them prepare their mind because this strategy it will fail would expect at some point they will bring those five people them line them for cross shoot them so that it will frighten our people the middle no say now they fade this way go await anybody we it there for stand up for a right as southern cameroonians we must fight it and we must stand up and fight for justice for these people the first person way they put up that list way named na na yemili would not get a third party way don't talk for you and that conversation them it also be it don't come out for for a post paper for a newspaper for inside uh cameroon day they record that post that newspaper now now the guidance post sorry i'll get the material up there on the screen unfortunately my my computer is not uh i never arranged these things very well so the guidance post I'm sorry I don't have the I don't have the video well set up. But the Guardian post he also then post the news concerning not the Guardian post, the post line have, have shared the news concerning these individuals, these five people where the Cameroon government it and sentenced them to death by firing squad. The number one person where he did for that list now Mr. Yemili. That Mr. Ye, that, that Yemili now a young boy who be being an amber fighter. That boy be done stop fighting. For almost six months before that attack happened, the boy he be there for Duala, a friend then there for Duala where they don't confirm. Say that boy he there for Duala. According to the journalists, where they don't investigate and they don't interview the boy. So that first person where they talk say he killed this person, he get an alibi. He be there for Duala when this attack happened. There were people where they see for Duala when this attack happened. La Republic they arrest this ex Amber boy where he be done go for go join DDR already. But he come back for Kumba, for can collect, he close them, according to the report with journalists that they report them. He be come back for, for Kumba, for can carry, for can take his belongings, they for go for Duala, La Republic, they arrest him for Kumba. Now he wait, they don't put and say, now he be one of the people they wait and kill this picking them. But we know saying a lie, because La Republic, they don't already first show this thief man, uh, Commander Zebra, say now he and the seven thief people them, then kill that picking them. But this person where he did for the list number one, he no get no relationship with the commander zebra and he no be there for inside kumba when the attack happened number second man for that list where he named Najilda kote 
K-O-T-E, Gilda Kote. Na a family man where they stay for Fiango, a family man where he go for go buy, buy uh, medicine for pharmacy, for some place they call him Nankumna, La Republic, the military that they do Kale Kale, then catch it for they eat deny for buy, for pay bribe, the he can end up itself for inside place where they don't put it together, say he be one of the people they wait and kill that begin of Kumba. They don't hold it for incommunicado for a long time. All man knows that family man, there was no way for him to be for Ambazonian fighting fighters. He had no link with the fighters, them where anybody know him. All man be very shocked. They don't sentence him for firing squad, say he be, be part of the people they didn't keep picking the Kumba. Number three for that list, where they talk, say he be key, they picking them as some, ma some, some man where they call say Patrick. That Patrick, na a farmer. They be arrested. The reason why La Republic they be arrested now because they attack and Jipo be done ban Corlas. He be wear rainbow. He hold Corlas. The fish say na Amber boys. Then catch it, put it for Amor car. He can find himself for prison. They don't take it to join them for the people. Then say he be part of the people the way they kill that picking the Bukumba. Na lie. So when I see the list for these three pe people, them amongst the five people the way they don't sentence them to death, will be sure say they not get nothing for do with the killing of those picking the Bukumba. Number one, he been an ex fighter where he already go for DDR center. They can't catch him for Kumba when he be covered, can't take things and because some person point and send an amber boy. If they be what be if he be wanted, they for don't catch things for, for Duala. The second one are the, the person where he be go for go buy messing for, for messing for Fiango. And then the farmer where they arrest it. The other two people, them also will never get any details about their identity and information about them, but will also be sure say they're not being a part of the gang for this particular. Commander Zebra, because La Republic, they be that also go kill some other people. Them can't show that their body saying a part of the people. Then that way, they be there for that attack. So this is a complete lie. The murder of two or five Amazonians them for use them like a sample for send a propaganda message for frighten our people for give up resisting Cameroon rule. It is so immoral for us to allow these people to put our people on a firing squad who are innocent. There is no way we cannot fight for these people for their justice and tell their story. Because if it can happen to them, it means it can happen absolutely to anybody. It can happen to anybody. So we condemn this action and the ADF will carry out military actions as, a, as an answer to this particular way La Republic, the Duam. The governing council that already sent the instruction. Our forces on the ground are working towards carrying out operations to make sure the Republic knows that this will not happen with impunity. So for this one, I will take women who go for grace. Our sister will die for church. We want to still pay tribute for grace and for remind our people why our people that be killed in this manner. Grace, a woman, when a church woman, a woman of God, a humble woman, where they go about living a normal life, manage to take care of a small picking them, they go for church. La Republic du Cameroon, they shoot, they target that particular church to kill anybody way they inside. That bullet unfortunately killed Grace. And then what it happen? No man need to blame Presbyterian Church and a Presbyterian Church key Grace. In a Cameroon military. But now wait, why Cameroon military they continue for key people like Grace? Now just wait away the moderator, Iduam. The moderator for Presbyterian Church when I ran here the interview I do am. He come out, make statement, say they don't know who way he kill these people. Then try for blame Amazonian fighters them. For help La Republic du Cameroon get away with this crime. The moderator for the Presbyterian Church, we will all know he, Reverend Funky. Reverend Funky. Now, person way that expose, wait to wait what people they don't suffer for long. This man, na enemy of progress. All the enablers and collaborators are enemies of progress. They need John Frundi, the Kawala, the Abobala, and all those where they play politics with the life of our people for redefine the struggle in order for a peace la republic and benefit personally, maybe by praising or whatever they are trying to benefit. These are the enemies of our progress. That is why they are the reasons why Cameroon military can kill our people because they know they will come out to defend them and to protect them. Anybody like Reverend Funky, who is like a father to the Presbyterian Church. When somebody kills your child, the father will come, the first thing he will do, he will not play what? He will blame the person saying that this military man, he killed my people. 
Reverend Ponky have failed grace who cannot speak for herself. Have also put the pastor in trouble because now the pastor is afraid to speak out because Reverend Ponky has asked the pastor not to talk to anybody. I've reached out to the pastor and he's afraid to say anything. So this man, now the reason why our people did suffer and why our people did die, the liberation leader, Dr. Chua Ayaba Idan talks, henceforth, all Presbyterian churches, then for instance, Ambazonia, will need to change them from the Presbyterian church in Cameroon to Ambazonian Presbyterian church. I would not ask that particular pastor for failing to speak out, to step down. I would not call on Reverend Funky to step down. But we cannot victimize all our church and all other pastors the way they do good because of the activities of this con man. Of this con man, Reverend Funky. Who knows it away, Reverend Funky will be pastor for Insta Bamenda. He embezzles a lot of money. Build big mansion. Look the house we don't build him. Compare with his salary. Any Christian need for reasoning. For no say this man is a corrupt politician, was as equal as Atanganji Paul. If we be Bem Atanganji Paul, say toxic, there is no anglophone problem. Then the case for Reverend Funky, he need for be worse. Because now the first time this would see people, them were part of the way they wear that Presbyterian church uniform, carrying a die body for good time for church, carrying, carrying a die body for good time for mutuary. It be very traumatic for most of our people, like the time we will see our lawyer them. They beat them, move their weak for head. It then shock our population, will be outraged, and will talk to the Presbyterian Church. The need for adjust to these corrupt individuals for no say these people. We would then hear from other pastors, them either in the, either in the post pastor, them for village area, them where they disagree with you. The Presbyterian Church will always get a standby budget where they then save them, I think, about 40 million or something like that. Huge sum of money, not 40 million, about 400 million or something like that. This man have come and squander all that money. He's a corrupt individual and he needs to be fired. The Presbyterian Church, all the good pastors, they need to speak up against ye if they actually work now for God. If they actually work for God, because some of them now would not know say some of these pastors, them, they need to work for God. They need to work now for their own stomach. The pastor would blame Funky, not be because they you know, can only blame La Republic for toxin and La Republic kill their people, them. But he lied. He said there was a crossfire. I confronted for that audio another year. He also lied, said there was an explosion close to the church. We know that all those things he said is they're all lies. And it be self-contradictory. At one point he did talk, say we'll not talk about what it happened because we need to wait for investigation. But at the same time, he didn't make a report narrating what happened, full of lies. We know say the pastor he need one talk because he no one contradict ye. But that one it is the pastor to it dirty. The pastor need to think about the life of grace and speak out for grace and speak out for justice for southern cameroon so that is what is happening with the presbyterian church so henceforth the presbyterian church is now the presbyterian church of ambazonia with immediate effect so i will take one ladies and gentlemen for sure now the mafia the canker worms, the cancers within our liberation movement. Not long ago, there was a video footages of one Cameroon billionaire where he didn't be compromised by a prostitute or somebody in the internet. He exposed his genitals for video camera and that video came to me and I saw that he was, he looks alike with Monono. Monono, a Cameroon minister where he worked for Paul B.I. office now, a very strong Paul B.I. supporter. Now, person with Paul B.I., they used to send it for other ministry then. He did like Paul B.I. I all man know which way they do them. There are plenty of things where without that man, Paul B.I. would get difficulties for doing So, I decide to make a, a, a targeted propaganda message against that man by linking him with that video. And I put that video out there. That particular action where I do them against La Republic have exposed... A lot of things like we say this revolution is god ordained god have a way to expose all the criminals all the bad people in this revolution god have a way to vomit them so let me put the video may gonna see which will happen and guess what who come to rescue monono we know say this monono is behind the people who are bribing ambazonians to leave the struggle we know that for sure 
because we have seen <laughs> what they are doing firsthand. So I can tell you, we know who he is. And we know his, the, his impact in this struggle. So guess who have come to defend this man? After we, po we post that, uh, that image of uh, Monono, let me bring it. After we post that image of Monono, let me show you the link. You'll be shocked. Okay. After we posted that image, that is a propaganda piece, a wonderful propaganda piece that I made against Monono. That propaganda have destroyed the image of that man forever. People will always see him and remember that particular video of that man shaking his uh, four inches. <laughs> so guess who come out to protect Monono? Guess who come out to defend the image of Monono? Monono is the key man that Paul Bia have used. He controls even the prime minister to try to kill this revolution. Guess who come out to defend him? Guess who? Is Dr. Joachim Are. Dr. Joachim Are. Do you know Dr. Joachim Are? He has been parading like somebody who is supporting Seseko and supporting the IG care, the IG. He's a big donor in the IG. For some time, we already knew we had intelligence that this man was working for La Republic for a long time, but we did not have any proof or no connection. So I will give you what is in front of you. How did he do? So this Joachim, now a publication, this I just bring this one for show you history because I don't get time for get all those material. This is him writing to defend uh, Tassan Wilfred. He said, Southern Cameroon Wilfred Takang had crossed no, no, he, he's come to support Seseko with his, with, you know, Seseko had some conflict with Tassan Wilfred, tussle of power. Tassan Wilfred is backing his, uh, the fired Sako. So he have always been writing articles to support Seseko. In this case, he wrote this article to support Tassan, uh, to support Seseko against Tassan. This is the professor, Professor Joachim Are, writing here. This is just one of his, his pro Seseko. Uh, writings they come around Seseko telling Seseko they are supporting him but these are people we know are working for the regime and where did they post that thing to destroy the the, the, the publication I did you know they came out to write the article they actually quoted uh, Sense Pass King <laughs> they actually quoted Sense Pass King that there is a propaganda video against Mr. Monono coming from somebody called Sense Pass King nobody should believe it and anything you remember this very post where they posted this newspaper is online. It's called the Cameroon Intelligence. So it's called Cameroon Intelligence Report. These are, are people that are working for the regime, but they are pretending and implanting messages within our revolution, sometimes backing Seseko. So this is a piece they wrote in that particular newspaper. You can see there were the people who were trying to tap Ayabacho that he went and sell money. You see, he went as they are calling ADF a, a, a criminal gang and attacking it. Uh, they, they, they were calling up. You see this guy there, the, the road there, Patrick Ayo. He's an advisor to Yerima. In this piece, they are saying that Patrick Ayo should ask Yerima to ban the ADF and the governing council. The person he calls uh, Patrick Ayo. If you don't know Patrick Ayuk, let me bring Patrick Ayuk his picture. Patrick Ayuk is a strong confidant of Atta Milan. He's working hand in hand with Atta Milan. As a matter of fact, we heard that Atta Milan worked hard to give him a scholarship, and he was thinking he's going to be a minister in Ambazonia or whatever he's saying there in in uh, in, uh, in South Africa there. But I want to show you the connection. He also is one of the writer, a publisher of this newspaper. They are the ones who always make the fake stories about Ayabacho and the ADF, Ayabacho working for La Republic, Ayabacho want to say Petru. They are the ones pushing all those negative things. They are all connected to Professor Joachim Are. It's all the same network of people that have worked their way through this struggle. If you remember the same, uh, this, uh, this guy, Ayok Paul, who is in South Africa, this is a, a poster they made with this, this newspaper. Sorry, I cannot uh, grab this this one. This particular forum, debate two, 
we know that this is a pro Cameroon program that runs propaganda for Cameroon. It's not like Equinox. It's not an independent platform. This debate too is pushing a, a Cameroon intelligence uh, a push within our struggle. And you can see in this post that he appeared there with Eric Chinje. Eric Chinje, we know for sure that his hands is all over the dating money in this struggle, trying to, to recruit Ambazonian activists, convincing them to abandon the struggle and follow La Republic. We know Eric Chinje is in that network. He has also been recruited. So you can see these people coming out together in this channel. They are all working together. It's a good network. They have this newspaper, the Cameroon Concord, and the, the, the Cameroon Intelligence Report that is being used now by, by uh, Professor, <laughs> Professor Array. So Array have access to them because he is working with them. Let me put out the other informations. So I, I just want to bring this thing to you to show you that at least at the, all the people now you see them coming they are doing this thing called the, the town hall where they are attacking the ADF and the egg of C. So this is the article that was written by by Aim Ari. I've got it there. Let me put it up so that you can see. This article he wrote there. You can see he wrote my name there. Sense Pass King. This is Professor Ari coming to defend Monono using the intelligence report website, a news organ that is there to propagate anti ambazonia sentiment and to implode the revolution. So this is him defending Monono. Monono is friends defending him, working for La Republic. Monono is Paul Bia. When you see Monono, you see Paul Bia. So these are the things that you have to know, you have to be aware. So that when you see these people who, who are coming and they are calling the name of Seseko, Seseko, not all of them actually support Seseko. They are using Seseko to accomplish what they wanted to accomplish in this revolution, to destroy this revolution. They are the people who lied Seseko and forced him to create a government. Whereas the Sekobu was susceptible, susceptible because he, he, he also have his own vulnerability, we know the bottom line is that he is a patriot. Seseko is a patriot. Don't mistake me. But he has fallen prey to a lot of CPDM people who came to him with money, promoting him. We have newspaper here. We have newspaper there. Chris Anu, given to us by Issa Churuma. All those people are the people who came to this, who deceived him to make wrong choices with the hope that they are going to destroy the revolution through him. They could not. So they have put him behind bars. They are now using Sako. Sako now have undercut them and is dealing directly with the enemy. So this guy is in South Africa, guy. They are all linked with this network of people who are working with the Cameroon intelligence network to destroy the revolution. And this guy, they are all influential in the SCBC. That's why they will never allow people with real revolutionary mind to come there. That's why they will never allow unity in this revolution. They will continue to use all type of way to rebrand themselves. But the connections are all out there. I have not taken time to really piece them up to you in a way that any common person will understand. But we will not go continue for the chew chop. We can put them on a mob. We will do the rest analysis by ourselves. This is Capo Daniel. On a sense pass king, the man we don't carry on a button for speak the truth. The deputy defense chief of the Ambazonia Defense Forces. A top aide to Dr. Cho Ayaba, our leader of our liberation. He's a God-given person for us. His speech is full of inspiration and our roadmap. He has laid bare to you in his speech with Lucas Asu. I think I will not go to that because of lack of time. But subsequently, I will come back to that and break down in a way that everybody will understand the roadmap that the governing council and our leader, Dr. Cho Ayaba, have put before us. Remember, the theme for this year's Independent Day is defeated, leave. That is a statement to the occupier. We are now focused to celebrate this day. This day, we don't want it to be celebrated just as a liberation movement issue, but a national issue. So we are calling on all our public to come out and celebrate to celebrate in their own way, but it is a day that the United Nations acknowledge our right as a people, acknowledge our rights as a people of self-determination, and grant us conditional independence, which was never effectuated. But that independence indeed is a technical independence, and is independent for our state, 
even though it was not actualized and our sovereignty was passed on to the Republic, we have to reassert our sovereignty and our territorial integrity to make sure that we effectuate the independence that we deserve. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Continue to watch us on ACN and support the liberation movement as our boys march on to victory. They have a lot of operation going on in the background. I'll have a special segment to just show to you what the ADF is doing, what the Akamaso is doing. For the past two months, we have had a huge roadside bomb that destroyed completely the Cameroon uh, military convoy, uh, their armor car. You will see more of that explosive subsequently as we prepare for the, the, the Independence Day. You will see us taking out those guys to so expect that. You saw the raid in, in, in Bonji. You saw the raid in, in Tarenkun. You have seen the, the, the soldier of La Republic that we captured in, in Bamenangkwe. You have seen the operation we carried out in Manfe, in Fako, and we continue to do that. We have expanded into Manu. Currently, our forces are in big areas in Manu, battling to hold grounds and to create space where our people can have a, a, a uh, start to set up the transitional authority as we move in. God bless you. Ciao.